In this video we are going to see how we can create a project in Rust for web automation using a crate called Fantachini, starting with installation, dependencies configuration till project creation and test structure. Fantachini is a high-level API for programmatically interacting with the web pages through WebDriver, so it uses the WebDriver protocol. Those being said, let's get started and the first step is to install Rust. I have a Windows machine, so let's download rustapp init.exe. If you try to open rustapp.exe file and if you don't have installed C++ build tools as myself, you will get a similar error as here. So let's fix this. Go back to the website, click on this link or directly navigate to Microsoft C++ build tools page and click on this download button. I have opened the Visual Studio installer, here click on Individual Components tab, search after C++ build tools. I will select the latest version based on my CPU, which is uh, Intel with x86 architecture. And one more thing here is to include Windows SDK. I will select the latest version and click on the Install button. And that's it. Now we can reopen the Rust app in it .exe file and do the installation. I will proceed with the standard installation, so just press enter. To verify the installation, open a command prompt and type in rustc space dash dash version. We need an IDE and I will be using VS Code. Go here and download the code editor if you don't have it installed. Open VS Code and we have to install some extensions. I will go light and install a single extension called Rust Analyzer. Now we are ready to create our project. We will create a library project. Make sure you are located in the right folder and type in terminal cargo space new space project name space dash dash lib and hit enter. Let's verify the project structure. We have this source folder with a file called lib.rs which contains a sample function and a test for it. And those two files cargo.log and cargo.taml file. We can give it a run, switch to the project folder and type in cargo space test. And as we can see, everything seems to be fine. Now we have to add some dependencies to our project. Go to crates.io and search after Fantocini. Here, go ahead and read the documentation and afterwards click on this button. Go to terminal, paste the installation command and hit enter. And as we can see in cargo.taml file, Fantocini dependencies was added. The next dependency we will be using is called Tokyo. So similar, let's install this one also. By default, Tokyo does not enable any features, so let's see here what we can use. For example, you can go either with full feature flag, or for this context, we can just use macros, which will enable the Tokyo test macro. After applying the changes, this is how our TAML file will look like. And finally, going back to our lib.rs file, 
I have removed most of the code from the default implementation and left this test module with a web test function for which we have to add this Tokyo test attribute and mark the function as async, just like this. So that's it. We have finished all the steps for this video. In the next video, we will be implementing the steps for our web test. So please have a look there. Otherwise, thank you for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.